The year group is year six and it's a science lesson. Each um, of the year six children have set up their own investigation into melting of solids, melting of ice. Um, they've all planned a completely different investigation and today I'm going to look at how to interpret results. It's not going to be their results um, as yet because these aren't ready but we're going to look at how when they have the results how they can describe these results clearly and interpret what the results are showing them. Uh, Brian Cartwright's report Maintaining Curiosity that was out at the end of last year said that in poorer schools science investigations were carried out and then at the end of the investigations that was where it was dropped and no interpretation, no describing of results and he wanted to see investigations carried out to the end describing and explaining the results clearly and this is an example of how to guide children into doing that. We have to teach them how to write descriptions of scientific results just as we have to teach them how to write stories or sets of instructions. What about the medium surface area? Can you put your hands down, have a think, have a look. What did they start with? What did they end with? I'm just going to ask somebody. How much ice was lost in the medium surface area? Chloe? 40 grams. 40 grams. Um, so a bit more melted. And then here with a large surface area, they started with 100 grams, they ended with 20 grams. How much was lost? How much ice melted to water? Imogen? 80 grams. 80 grams. So a lot more of the ice melted, didn't it? Now, I'm going to give you six different descriptions of those results. And I want you to find the one you think best describes those results. And we'll look at why you think it's the best description. And also the one that you think is the worst description of those results. And look at why it's the worst description. And then we'll be able to clearly list what we need to put in our own descriptions when we get our results. And that will be our success criteria for the next lesson. So um, I'll put scissors on the table. You can chop them up and order them if you like. But I want the best description and the worst description, as agreed in the group. So it was, it was best with a bigger surface area. Yeah. What was best? Yeah. Yeah. It's an experience thing. The larger the surface area, the faster the ice melted. Mm, not bad. Yeah. It melted really slowly with a small surface area. Mm, that's kind of... Not really, because what melted? What, what melted faster? I mean, slowly. When we used different ice, we noticed it was different. The small one had the most ice left. What? The small one had the most ice left. I don't think so. Make sure that when you are actually reading them out and deciding which one is good or which one's the worst, you're thinking about why, what makes a good description, what, what makes it not so good a description, okay?